Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Just Saying. As you can see, only me and Jade left because the rest of the crew decided to quit. Bye, Seth. <laughs> see you never. I never liked her, you know, do you? Same. <laughs> you know that? We are fake best friends. So last year as a crew, we decided that despite COVID, despite whatever that happened last year, we still had a pretty good year. Yeah, we're, and, we're alive, we're here. Yeah, and then uh, we decided that we wanted to start this year by giving back to community. The initial idea that we had was to visit a charity. We wanted to bring Christmas dinner to them. Okay, okay, that was your yeah, initial idea, yeah. okay? Don't don't say our, because it's not mine. My initial idea was like, that. You, you know, clothes drive, which also wasn't my idea. Yeah, <laughs> then we wanted to do that, like the normal, uh, give our used clothes, go to <laughs> folks home, bring Christmas, Christmas dinner to them, sing them song and everything. In that process of planning, I actually got a privilege to meet a um, CSR specialist and her name was Yu Yen. We spoke over the phone and then she kind of scooped me and like, hey, dude, if you really <laughs> want to help, are you really helping yourself? Are you helping these people? You go down there, you give them your old clothes, yeah, you feel good, but do they really need it? So it got to me, I was like, yeah, am I really helping lah, right? We come with a few points um, that we're gonna discuss. Wait, before we begin, can I ask you something? Is this actually your first time organizing and like yes. thinking? Yes. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I was a bit confused as to why he was like, my pre love clothes aren't gonna change lives. <laughs> like, I was like, no. They actually don't need a used pair of SB it, dunks. It, yeah. <laughs> So this is Su Yen. Su Yen runs uh, the Good Exchange. As I mentioned earlier, I got the privilege to meet her. We spoke over the phone and there were some things that she told me that kind of wake me up a bit uh, which was, am I really helping? So I, I believe like you experience this with a lot of Singaporeans. Actually, I, I often receive phone calls and most of the time they will call me and ask, can I give something to an old folks home or visit an orphanage? Uh, more often than not, I will just ask them to consider if doing one time off visit is really helping. More often than not, if you go to an old folks home, the old folks will have to stay awake, mm. listen to your singing, or receive some items that they might And then we just go there and, and give things to them. We feel really good, but it might not really benefit the old folks. So mm. we really have to think. Yeah, so I think that really made a lot of sense to me because I, I imagine myself receiving food that I can't eat or like yes. things that I really don't need. Lah. So that, I think there's this story where someone was sending a guy food Mm. But he, I think he had no hands or like. No, he had no stove. Oh, he had no stove. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, I'm butchering my story. <laughs> So basically, they were sending a whole bunch of Maggie me to his house and cooking mm. oil. But the thing is, he had no stove. So he was like, I can't cook and I can't eat this much MSG because, you know, I have like high cholesterol and whatever. So he felt bad to throw it away. So it was literally just his kitchen, had no surface. It was just stacks of like soy sauce, cooking oil. You know, at the end of the day, you have the best intentions, but you don't want your efforts to just be... Go to waste. Yeah, yeah. go to waste. It's sad. Yeah, exactly. So just now, um, do you went to uh, do a home visit, you know, mm. together with the crew? And he hear for himself that, you know, often people like to give food hampers but they have not considered whether inside, you know, the content is really suitable for the family and whether mm. that's something they can eat. Yeah. So I think it's really important for us to really ask what yeah. is useful to them, what is helpful to them. Yeah, so we actually went down to Pongo, visited the families um, and we actually got a lot of clips of it in which we're going to show it to you guys. Stay tuned to watch Do Cry. <laughs> So for the past month, Su Yen and I have been talking to these families, kind of understand what they are going through, what they need at home. The Just Saying crew and together with Gush Cloud, we put some money together and actually got them the stuff they need. La. I'm actually right under their blocks and we're going to go up and um, speak to them, show you how they are living and basically show you how to help. So guys, this is Nora. We are currently sitting in her home and we're just going to have a conversation with her, kind of understand her living conditions and so on and so forth. La. Yeah, so Nora, how long have you been uh, staying here? Actually, this house is for my daughter. She's been staying for seven years. She's a single parent with four kids. Actually, I don't know her life actually, house, the environment. Until, you know, the lockdown in my place in JB, I do stay in JB for the past 30 years. So at this moment, we can't go home. So my girl offered me to stay here. No doubt her place is quite cramped, but I have no other choice. I know she's, she, she have not complained anything that she's not enough, whatever thing. I, and as a mother, I know that I just, you know, get anything, whatever I can afford. No doubt her kids now having a medical problem. Mm. It's very, very chronic, asthmatic. Okay. Yeah. And all three? Uh, three all three has asthma. Yeah, okay. asthmatic. And she have to go frequent medical okay. and frequent appointment. What's your current like monthly expenses like? for like seven people, or oh sorry, six people in this house. By grocery, everything, it can't hit until 800 a month. 
plus okay. the children's uh, expenses, everything. And mm. on top of that, there are the medical expenses yeah, right, as well, correct. and the rent. Correct, yeah. correct. There is someone to come to help her mm -hmm. with all those like uh, communities, like uh, hopes and others. They do come give some foods for them. Mm. Huh? But apparently, sadly to say that the food that give it to us is it's not meant for us. Because when you say not meant for you, it's like not halal. Not halal like, food, okay. yeah, it's not halal. I don't say that all is non-halal, but there is some that we can, but some of that is not. So I'm, I'm looking at like, one, two, three, four, five, six people in this mm. house, but mm. there's only one bed. So how mm. do you guys... Trying to say like, then something before we come here, we see this house. Of course, it's one bed then. It's nice of my, my, my daughter was saying that, mommy and my, you just take my bed, the rest of my kid can sleep on the floor. <laughs> it's, mm. it's very touch of me. Mm. And she has been so, so thoughtful of me and my husband. Oh, she asked me to take the bed. Then I was, of course, I was crying saying that my daughter and my children, my daughter all sleep on the floor. I mean, but I'm helpful because I don't really eat that much that can give her more. But I want to think, think I can pray. Maybe there is someone who can you know, give something. All this, my prayers come through. So you come over and say, some boys are something, what you need. Mm. The auntie just stand and say, yeah, maybe I need some mattress and certain things. And the things that we need also, you know, people do donate something. Mm. But the thing maybe it really used, it's been mm. second hand. Like, you know, the boiler, a bit yeah. rusty here and there. We need to try, wash, and repair here and there. But of course, it's not healthy for my grandchildren mm. because they are drinking milk. Yeah. You, said, you said earlier on that sometimes you get like items that are a bit faulty or things that you cannot eat and then you just like throw it away yeah. and give yeah, it away. For, for, yeah, for my girl, yeah, yeah. She, she do have a few items that she gets, she threw away. Yeah. But uh, I told her, don't waste. Maybe we don't need it, some other people need it. Um, so, I think firstly, we'd like to thank you um, mm -hmm. for letting us help you. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it brings us great joy. Mm -hmm. um, so like what you mentioned just now, I mean, uh, or asking you questions about your bed, about your, your induction mm -hmm. cooker and your water heater. Mm -hmm. So me and Muna, mm -hmm. actually you went out to buy some stuff for oh, you and your family. Thank you. It's currently outside. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it in. I'll be honest with you. Uh, mm -hmm. We wanted to do what the other people were doing for you. We had this idea of helping, mm -hmm. but we didn't really know how to really help. Mm -hmm. Then when Yen came here, she actually told us your living conditions, what you needed and everything. So mm -hmm. me and Muna actually went out Get some stuff. So this is the the one oh. that you said that was rusty. So this is yeah. new. Thank then, you. Uh, then we also is... have an induction cooker over yeah. here. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and then uh, we bought beds also. Yeah. So now the kids mm -hmm. can sleep. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> and uh, that's why I asked you how much you actually spend on groceries. So we actually went out to buy vouchers for you guys oh okay yeah, so this this giant vouchers okay. which is right downstairs lah i think we got you the vouchers um because we we didn't want to assume what you like to eat it's a lot more useful I correct yeah, yeah so useful. like yeah. and you can just like separate it up for months by months to mm. see correct, correct. Yeah. thank you so much thank you so much yeah. i really appreciate that yeah. it was oh my just a good comment <laughs> oh i think like really i think from the both of us and the whole team also thank you for sharing i think it's one thing to have intentions to help which is great already but it's mm. also to understand yeah. you know what what someone else needs yeah. so thank you for like, educating yeah. us about that i'm really grateful that your guys you know are helpful thank you so much Wing, and and then the teams that come so uh, to have these interviews serious thanks so much Hi everybody, so we're here with Faiza and her family and we're here to understand um, what she goes through on a daily basis. So at the moment, you have how many kids? Five. And one on the way, right? Yeah. Uh, when are you due? February. That's very really soon, you're gonna have a... Aquarius baby. So um, you have quite a big family um, and one more child's coming on the way. Um, so how are the sleeping arrangements and you guys sleep? Previously, we slept in the room mm. because there's a double decker yeah. and also queen mattress. And then we share. Yeah. For now only, because we find it like it's cramped, yeah. so we sleep, uh, uh, we sleep outside. outside yeah. Yeah. And also there's a like so-called tatami thing. Oh, the tatami yeah. mat? That one for the kids. Then also, when it comes yeah. to like food and stuff, um, how are the donations like? Previously, like, when we moved here, mm. there's quite 
frequent. Only like as time goes by, rarely lah. Once in a blue moon, then yeah. only like uh, sometimes we go to the CC get voucher. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, that one for a monthly thing, but mm. it's sixty dollars per month lah. Previously, they give out rations also like Milo, oats, and also uh, noodles. But are you currently yeah. receiving any like vouchers for? Groceries. Mm. So far, only from the government. Mm. Uh, the one that we have, uh, hundred fifty, hundred fifty. So, is that like a monthly voucher uh, or no. weekly? Two times. Okay. Twice a year. Twice yeah, a year. Twice a year. Okay, so at the moment you get like three hundred dollars from the government mm. twice a year. We say like mm. that's enough. Mm. Can be better, right? Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Take note, guys. Did you reach out to MSF or Coms Care? No, because uh, previously we are both working full time. At that point of time, we thought. It's okay lah. Yeah. No need for the help and mm. such. Only But recently lah, we had to resign. I kept going in and out of hospitals. We went for few interviews, yeah. but. Of course, uh, my condition, I couldn't get any yeah. job. So as for him, we tried, but no callbacks and such. So yeah, you know, we do ad hoc job like for doing parcel, like parcel delivery mm, and like yes. grab stuff. Mm. Mm. So currently now, like what items you think that you really need in this house? Maybe like. Uh, mattress, mm. uh, the like double stove because currently I'm using just a single stove and okay. it's also using a canister, the gas canister oh, instead okay. of the LPG yeah, yeah. yeah. gas. Yeah. yeah, because we tried to order lah previously, but then every time like alamak the price, yeah, uh, the pricing lah that's a thing also. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but in terms of school like school materials and everything for the kids are okay. Yeah, are so they far okay. Care yes, previously also we are under FEF. Mm. So okay. the books, the school shoes, Uniform yeah, and they uh, provide it lah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So we actually really want to thank you for allowing yeah. us into your house to interview mm. you and like to get to know you better. Like we just wanted to show our compassion and like we are super fortunate because it's not easy for someone to share their story so openly. Yeah. We would love to give you the stuff that we acquired. Yeah. yeah. yeah really and for the kids it. as well. Yeah. Okay, so we have gotten you a water kettle. Yes. Is, yeah. Her baby's coming. Yeah. For like milk, order yeah. and everything. And, and we got you the shower heater because you said it wasn't yeah. working. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. And we also have another gift. This is um just some food vouchers to help oh, you buy. Okay. Yeah. Alright, thank you so no much. Worries. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> so the vouchers are actually for you to like choose whatever you want mm-hmm. to eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you know, like up to you, like your preference. Yeah. So yeah, I hope it helps. Yeah, yeah. really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really thankful for it. No worries, yeah. it's our pleasure. We're happy to help you. So maybe we can ask you, you know, what's what's your experience just now, you know, from the home visit? What what did you learn? I mean, a lot of times they were telling me like families are uh, they are receiving a lot of things that they really don't need, like or rather in bad condition. Mm. So one of the families had a kettle that was rusty. Oh, yeah. So, so both, they were boiling the milk in the rusty yes, kettle. Yes. Yes. Is that why you cried? Oh wait, do you not cry on camera? <laughs> I I wanted to okay if you watch the clip you can see me slowing my saliva so many times. You oh know, no, yeah he takes me he was like, I'm crying. I was like. <laughs>
following that also some people have their mentality where if i'm giving you you cannot choose so it's like beggars can't be choosers kind of mentality do you face these types of people in the course of my volunteer work we have received mattresses that has like blood stain and like people wanted to donate pillows but when i open up you know it's got like yellow patches on oh. and then it just contaminates everything around it right when you have blood stains you got to throw almost all the stuff around it away yeah yeah remember there was um during the earthquake then red cross was like stop sending your soil underwear to us i feel like it's so sad that they even had to say that yeah i, I guess you know with knowledge and education Yeah. I, I guess definitely, you know, Singaporeans, we can do better. Mm. So I, I think it starts with asking what the receiver needs. That's yeah. number one. And then two, if we have an item to donate, we need to ask ourselves: Is it in a good condition? You really need to give something that is really in good condition, lah. Right? I mean, if you really want to help this family, I prefer you go and just go and buy one. The feeling that you get knowing that this will help them a lot is way better than donating something that yeah. is f- up, lah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The key here is to like treat that treat people with like respect. Even the mentality beggars can't be choosers. Mm. These are not beggars. They they are yeah. us. They are people. They are our family. Mm. Like these are our brothers and sisters. Mm. And if your brother and sister needed something, you're not going to call them a beggar. Yeah. You're just yeah, gonna yeah, 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 say, yeah. I'm gonna give you something in good condition. Like where do Singaporeans start? Because for example, I wouldn't know that where I visited uh, visited earlier were mm. families that really needed help lah. So what you can do is we can go to a more established like maybe platforms or maybe like let's say a touch community. So one way is to actually call the home and mm-hmm. say you know what do you need? A home can say oh okay I actually need a fan yeah. or I need a pot or a kettle that mm-hmm. can serve the residents instead of maybe giving directly or like you see that 50 old folks and you go and give 50 packets of Milo oh, or yeah. oat yeah. you know which they can't cook. Yeah. This one month process I really learned a lot there. Like, when you give the feeling that you get from giving yeah. really stays in you for a very long time even though yes. it's like two dollars five dollars whatever it is and yes. to be honest we are actually the receivers lah also not only them lah i personally am gonna keep in touch with some of the families that we visit i think kisha and Sef- saffron is gonna keep in touch with the second family that we met jade was not there because uh, okay be- not because <laughs> not because i'm a bad guy mm. but because i was thinking like i work front lines i don't want to pose any risk to the family so i just brought it up to the others i don't really think it's like the most prudent thing yeah to do. but jade of course contributed the same amount as us She was just not there to give it to them, lah. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I think we would like to thank Suyan for everything. Uh, I mean, yeah, this process took about a month or so, or, or more. Yeah, of planning, of buying yeah. everything. She actually went down to the family straight, go visit house by house to see which family needed most help. And then she told me, send me the list of everything. And then uh, we met them just now, got to know them better. And I think like now we are friends. So again, if you guys are looking to help, you can ask her or anyone else that if. Uh, You guys know. Really, just ask them what they need. Go and get it, and then you make them really, really happy yeah. people, lah. Thank you so much for you know contributing and doing what you did just now. I could see you know he put his heart and soul carrying the mattresses and the items. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so you come to the end of this episode, guys. I really, really, really hope you guys learned a lot of things. Like I think both of us did. We like to thank Su Yen again for helping us in this um process or in this journey. If you guys have anything you guys would like us to do or talk about, let us know. If not, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>